stabbing in Layton where three schools were locked out as officers responded to Layton Commons Park. This incident left many parents and students shaken up. Fox 13 News anchor Brian Schnee joins us live from Layton Police Headquarters tonight with new information on the violence this afternoon. Brian. Bob and Kelly, good evening. I reached out to Layton police tonight to ask them if they were able to recover the weapon that was used by that high school student in the stabbing. They told me they did not recover the weapon so far in their search. However, we did speak with some people that told us that they witnessed this incident take place this afternoon. They say the weapon involved wasn't a knife. It was a screwdriver. Police were called to Layton Commons Park across the street from Layton High School Tuesday afternoon. Two groups of nearly 20 students involved were fighting and more students were watching it take place. That situation escalated when one of them went to his backpack and retrieved what we think is a knife or something like a knife and stabbed the other kid right in the upper abdomen. The 15 year old stabbing victim was taken to McKay Hospital and is expected to be OK. A short time later, police were able to track down the 16 year old suspect at an apartment complex nearby where he was taken into custody. The incident prompted three schools to put safety protocols into action. Three different schools ended up going into a lock. They call it lockout status. Uh, Layton High, Central Davis Junior High and Crestview Elementary all went into lockout status for a period of time while we tried to track down this kid who'd done this. One parent we spoke with says she found out about the lockout and stabbing after a phone call from her daughter. How does that make you feel as mom? I'm nervous just because of all these kids. All these schools are, these kids are too much. So yeah, it makes me nervous bringing my kids to school every day. According to the Davis School District, the lockouts lasted roughly 45 minutes. I just hopefully everything gets taken care of and that I will, when I bring my kids to school, they'll be safe. It should give some solace, I guess, to parents to recognize that the school has a plan. When something like this happens, they have a plan in different levels depending on the threat. I got my kids, my daughter's at home, I got my son, so we're good. Police also telling us they believe that this whole thing could have been avoided. The brawl and the stabbing had other students who knew about it in advance just spoken up. Now, just moments ago, we learned the potential charges that the suspect could face, both of them third degree felonies, one of them rioting with a weapon involved, the second aggravated assault with a weapon. We're live in Layton tonight, Brian Schnee, Fox 13 News, Utah. Brian, thank you. Layton High School principal Brock Jackman sent a message to parents and guardians today explaining what happened and saying in part anyone with information about the situation is asked to call police at 801-497-8300. Also, school counselors will be available to any student who feels they'd like additional support tomorrow.